Chad! Yeah? Can I have a Super Bowl party? Of course! What am I gonna cook? Oh, there's nothing to cook. Oh my god, you scared me. What seems to be the problem? The problem? It's a Super Bowl Sunday, and I don't have anything to cook. Why don't you cook those doves that you have in the freezer? Doves? I don't know how to cook doves. Just go to buckheadhunting.com. They'll show you how to cook it. Oh, buckheadhunting.com. And they'll show me how to cook doves? <laughs> Thanks, Buckhead. Hey, this is EJ from Fat Ash Barbecue. Today I'm cooking with Buckhead Hunting. We're gonna cook some uh, dove fajitas. All right, today we're gonna cook on a makeshift grill. A lot of people think you need a big, expensive grill to make good food, but you really don't. All we're gonna use is two pieces of cinder block, a piece of expanded metal, some Kingsford charcoal, to make one of the best meals you've ever had. All right, this is a really easy, simple recipe. All you need is some seasoning. I'm using Textjoy Old Mesquite Shake. A pepper, a lot of people use green peppers. I like the Anaheim pepper white onion, some Italian dressing, it doesn't matter what brand, the Italian dressing is a really good marinade, and some dove breasts. First thing you need to do to make fajitas with uh, dove, is we have to remove the meat from the breast. Now we all know doves don't really have fajitas, but what a fajita is is the abdomen muscle off of the cow, but a lot of people just call fajita now any kind of southwest grilling. So we're gonna take the dove, we're gonna get a very sharp knife, that's key. And what we're gonna do right there is we're gonna remove the meat from the breastplate. You go one side, get as close as you can as to the other side, remove it to where we're not wasting any meat. Once you get that, what I like to do is flip them over like that, cut them in half, it's gonna make perfect pieces. That's all it is to make a dove fajita. Once you have all your dove removed from the breast plate, you got these little pieces of fajita. What I like to do is marinate them. We're gonna marinate them with just Italian dressing. I use the same thing on my beef and chicken fajitas. It's an old family recipe. My dad used to do the exact same thing. So it's where I started, it's where I learned this technique. Just throw it in there. Do you notice that when you buy most Italian dressings now, It'll say Italian dressing and marinade also. So that's what most people are using it for. One of the best thing about uh, fajitas is I like to grill my onions on the grill while I'm cooking the fajitas. Really easy. Just get yourself an onion, cut the two ends off, set those aside. I like to find the first layer. Peel that off, throw this stuff away also. Get your onion really quick with a sharp knife. Just cut yourself some circles. And we're gonna place those right on the grill. So once you got a clean fire burning, there's no smoke coming out. You can see the flames coming up off near the top. All you're gonna do is grab your charcoal chimney and dump the charcoal in between the two cinder blocks. Once you got it dumped like that, we're gonna have plenty of heat coming up here. You might wanna get yourself a pair of tongs and spread it out evenly so we have an even distribution of heat. Real easy, inexpensive grill. You can pick up the expanded metal for less than $10 
at a Home Depot or Lowe's, cinder blocks, probably a couple bucks a piece if you don't already have them laying around the house. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put these onions cooking right here on the grill. You got to be careful at this point forward because it is hot. I can feel the heat coming off of it. And then I'm going to cook the pepper hole also. Just put it like that, flip it every few minutes to where it doesn't char on too much on one side. So once you're ready, you just come in here one at a time and they're going to start grilling. Now that we got the dove, fajitas on the grill, we're going to use some of this Tex Joy Mesquite Shake. It gives it a southwestern type flavor. I like it. It's almost like a fajita seasoning. We're just going to sprinkle it liberally on there. outdoors and you're not anywhere near kitchens or anything else sometimes you have to improvise we're obviously getting way too much wind today so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lower the grill so we can get a little hotter temperature uh, I usually don't like cooking that close to the fire but this wind is really just kicking us today so I'm having to drop it down to make sure it cooks fast enough so we're eating safe food All right, right before we are ready to eat, we need to heat up our tortillas. Get a couple pieces of aluminum foil, grab some tortillas, just like that, wrap them up. I'm gonna come over here, put them right on the grill also. We know they heat up. We just took this pepper off. We want to give our tacos some color. So we're going to slice them. What I like about Anaheim peppers is they have all the flavor of a jalapeno, but they are not as hot at all. It's very closely related to the hatch pepper. We're getting our onions also. Just cut some pieces so people can put in their tacos. Now that we've moved the dub away from the closer to the fire, they cooked really quick. Like I said, whenever you're cooking, one of the greatest things is you have to be ready to improvise. I know these are gonna taste great. I've already tasted a couple of them. We're gonna put them in some tortillas here. You can also do these in a skillet at home. The most common way to cook dove is probably just like we did the back strap in our last video, the chicken fry it. It's the way my family's always done it. But sometimes you're right after you kill the dove, you may not be close enough to a kitchen where you gotta cook up something like this. Also, I've seen dove made into an etouffee, into a gumbo. You can do just about anything you want with it. It's a very versatile meat. Go ahead, get yourself a couple peppers, some onions, a couple pieces of dove, throw it in there. It's got a great Tex-Mex meal, cooked entirely outdoors, 100% Texas. Awesome.